After a tumultuous 24 hours, which saw Shabba Laszlo axed and Jim Jeffries restored as Hearts boss, the Tynecastle side were in Perth for a tough encounter with St Johnston. The Saints on a decent run and ready to cause problems, just as they had done in the earlier encounter at McDermott Park. Davidson puts Saints ahead back in August. But Goncalves levelled. And Obua looked to have won it for Hearts. Only for Martin Hardy to equalise spectacularly deep into stoppage time. Saturday's highlights with Jonathan Sutherland. Hearts fans happy with the return of Jim Jeffries? Just a bit. But after the applause, the harsh reality. Hearts with plenty to do. St Johnson with the best chance of the first half. Stevie Milnes finished high and wide, not helped by the bobbly McDermott Park pitch. Hearts had a great chance within the first minute of the second half, but Gary Glenn rather snatched at his shot. The massed ranks of Hearts fans being made to wait for the first goal of the second Jim Jeffries era. Stevie Milne was making a real nuisance of himself in the Saints attack, getting in behind the Hearts defence, but he drilled the shot wide of goal. However, Saints would continue to find joy down the Hearts' flanks. This time, the Saints tried down the left-hand side. Danny Granger with the cross and Kenny Duker with the finish. The striker with his first SPL goal for St Johnston. And a goal made in Gretna. The defunct club's old boys Granger and Duker combining to great effect. Hearts tried to respond. Danny Granger this time taking care of his defensive duties. Andy Driver with the dangerous cross. St Johnston were then presented with a gift by Hearts keeper Marion Kello. The kick out going straight to Milne and a great chance for Saints to finish this match off. The cross from the striker found Killian Sheridan. But the substitute on for Kenny Duker blasted his shot off the post. An Andy Driver free kick almost resulted in a Hearts equaliser. Substitute Gordon Smith going close and not for the last time in this match either. David Obua with a flicked on header. New Hearts manager, same old Michael Stewart, a crude challenge from Liam Craig, but the reaction of the Hearts skipper earning him a yellow card that will now see him suspended for two SPL matches this month against Falkirk and Hamilton. To end up with, it was a case of Smith must score. Hearts in a great attacking position, but young Gordon Smith denied on the line. Gary Irvin with a stunning block to ensure St Johnston finished 1-0 winners, rather spoiling the Jambos' Jim Jeffries party. So not the ideal start for Jim Jeffries, but a great win for St Johnston, very important. They'll be pleased to see Kenny Duker finally getting his first SPL goal this season. Yeah, I think he's been playing well enough. He leads the line, he's awkward, he's good in the air, he causes problems, but you thrive on goals if you're a striker. But this is a great goal. Early ball from Danny Granger, Kenny Duker in great position, just ahead of the defender, and then it's a matter of getting the ball behind the goalkeeper, which he is very good at. Great ball in, and just a wonderful striker's finish. Almost two years since he last scored in the top flight. Remember Gretna? In, in the old days, you know something, I, I remember the games against Rangers both here and at Fir Park and Kenny Duker caused, I think it was Carlos Queller and David Weir at the time, more problems than a lot of the big European teams that Rangers played on their way to the UEFA Cup final. Hearts did have their chances, a um, bit of a problem for them throughout the season taking them. Exactly, the, the problem that Shabba Laszlo said he had and Jim Jeffries is still trying to, trying to rectify, it's not going to be easy but they are creating them. Gary Glenn there, you know, he's got to work the goalkeeper and get over that. This time when it comes in, Gordon Smith at the back post, he's unlucky, has to react quickly. But the chances kept coming and they kept going really late in the game. Eventually when the ball goes in, Christian Nadi knocks it across, you think it's got to be in, but Gary Irvin, I don't know how he gets that away, but it's a magnificent bit of defending. Hearts have signed Ryan Stevenson today from Air United. Um, no sign of the striker that um, they all want. No, but Andrew Driver back at the weekend, I think that is a big plus for them. He could be an important player in the second half of the season. Uh, again, more on transfers to come.